soldiers. The infamous Marco Rossi is done for this time. <laughs> Our tide of steel is unstoppable. <laughs> we'll usher forth a new world of freedom and justice. Will our tide of steel be enough to beat Marco? It seems stronger than the Martians, at least. Who cares? Cheers! What, no drink for me? Relax, I got ya! Thank you! Help, my precious! You call. Chop chop! Let's wrap this up! HP in a single battle. If you're injured, I can help patch you up. Is here. See ya. The kingdom of Oof is returned. Nightmares will appall the world. Thinking of running? You can forget it.
I'll be back. Mission start. No big deal. It was that strange. Only Kamut experienced the same phenomenon. Have you found the cause of this lightning strike? I saw the guy who summoned it. He saved Morden. Oh, they're friends. No wonder there are so many Morden troops around here. Speaking of the Morden army, they'll be back any second. We better go. Let's bring this miner with us. I saw him being chased by a bunch of Morden's men earlier. Hmm. This man looks familiar. Sure, let's go. Mission start!
Is there anything you want? Ah, too bad. There's nothing machine gun? Best known for its ultra high rate of fire? It's a powerful weapon against large clusters of ground targets. Ah, you got it! <laughs> uh, but it doesn't make sense. Was it what difference does it make? Step aside, stay out of my way! Sergeant Theo. The latest intelligence on the enemy has been sent to your terminal. Got it! Thanks, little roomie! By the way, some officer banging around might also need to check this out. Roomie's got sharp ears. The guy you saw summoned- Yes! Affirmative! It's not far from us! What are we waiting for? What about the miner? It's not safe to break- hmm. He's digging again. I doubt he would come with us anyway. Theo, you stay here to keep an eye on him. Contact HQ for support. Me? Stay behind alone? You sure about this? What are you talking about? I'm a solid fighter. But, but this miner is quite special. I'm not sure I can handle him all by myself. Knock him out if you have to. Okay, okay, I'll stay here. Marco, be careful. Ah, don't worry about it. I've seen lots worse. Mr. 
Action! Start! Why didn't you fire? At that guy? That was just a hologram! Father, calm down. He's an outlander and doesn't know much about Kamut. Quiet! Bro, chill! Let me introduce myself. I'm Major Marco Rossi of the regular army. How may I help you? No need. Father, shall we go? You go back. And you? Father, you were gone for so long. Don't you miss home? I don't have a home. Until the day I find the four gems and eliminate that devil, there is no home for me. Father! Father! Uh, don't be sad, kiddo. All fathers and daughters fight. Oh, I'm used to it. <laughs> He's always like this. Your father, 
he has a feud with that hologram? Hologram? You mean the Pharaoh? He's the sworn enemy of the entire Bastet clan. No, make that everyone in Kamut. The Pharaoh? Sounds old. He was the very last Pharaoh of the ancient empire, approximately 4,000 years ago. 4,000 years? He looks quite a character, but I didn't expect him to be that old. Oh, absolutely. Legends say he unlocked some forbidden power and gained immortality. Even the most powerful Bastet, the goddess of war, could only hold him temporarily in the pyramid. Huh. Is that why your father's on the hunt for the four, um... Uh... The four gems. They were created at the very beginning of the world, and they bear a power that can cleanse all evil. Holy cow! That's a lot older! He's basically looking for a needle in a haystack. That's not entirely true. An ancient home has been passed down concerning the whereabouts of the four gems. As the glory of the world's beginning dissipated, slowly but surely, the dark force awakened. The lava gem inflamed the very earth. The purification gem became blacker than black. The Volt Gem manifested the commandments of the desert. The Gravity Gem belonged to the Last Guardian. Well, that doesn't help much. Your old man is a stubborn one. How can he possibly solve this riddle? is the prophetic poem left by Lord Bastet. It has been a guiding light for the Kamut people in their times of darkness. I wish my father could lead an easier life, but I believe in Lord Bastet with my whole heart. Interesting. I respect your faith. Get home safely. I've got work to do. Hope to see you.
time. What are you doing here? Where's the miner? HQ is transferred into safety. Reinforcements are on the way. So you came to find me just out of boredom? I'm on a mission. What's taking you so long? Uh, the mission is completed, but the situation seems a bit more complicated. I apologize for the delay, so, so tell me, what's the new mission? <laughs> Do you have an alloy pickaxe? Dig. D -d dig Great! An advanced bazooka! That miner wasn't messing with me. He told you to dig for bazookas? Here? Yeah. He said the bazookas were buried in hot soil. Hard to believe there's such a huge lava pool under Kamut. Simple. You bring me along, and I'll bring all the bazookas. You. Come on. I won't slow you down. I, don't get me wrong. I'm flattered. You are my best intel chief. Okay. Theo, welcome to the team. Yeah. <laughs> I'm fine. All good. Uh, are you sure you're not stalking me? <laughs> Check this out! Braised bread crab. Oh, I'm a bit overcooked. Ah! Ah! It's still alive! This lava crab is a rare variant that lives in the lava pool. A crab surviving in the hot lava is against science. How is that even possible? Many things in Kamut are beyond your common sense. If you want to learn the secrets, you must accept the mysteries. Wow, that's deep. So what exactly are you trying to say? Well, lava is known as the Earth Fire in Kamut. The first line of the prophecy might be a reference to this place. Since you're already here, would you like to help me search? Uh, do I have a choice? I can't leave a little girl in this place all by herself. Penetrate. Use Theo. Nice hit. The wound has dealt massive damage to the PCB Melty Honey.
bullet time! You're very welcome! Have some more! You just inflicted two debuffs on the enemy. Little Rumi! So you are the reinforcement from HQ! Logistics Officer Aikawa Rumi, reporting for duty! I see that big backpack again. Let me guess what you've packed. Um, steamed dumplings, dehydrated veggies, cherry radish... Food is very important for a long march. Of course I've packed plenty! But, I also have something different for you. Look here. These photos. They were taken during the war with Morden. That's right. These combat photos are all we have left from the war. HQ hopes they can help you find a way to defeat the Morden army. impressive, Major. It's been half a year since that air combat, but you recall the details so clearly. 
Life and death experiences are never easy to forget. My battle review report is ready. You can keep the photos. Preserve them carefully. Marco, there's a deserted underground altar ahead. Lava crabs are thought to be mutated variants of the crabs offered at the altar. Do you think the lava gem might be there? She's doing such careful analysis. Perhaps I should have some faith in her. I'll take a look. Find a safe spot to hide, kiddo. No worries. No one can find a cat that doesn't want to be found, especially a cat from the Basket family.
<laughs> Those who cast greedy eyes upon the gems shall be punished by the gods. Mortal, you best mind yourself. Sounds ridiculous, but that just might be a 4,000 year old. He's the last pharaoh of Kamut from over 4,000 years ago. Priestess Elia's research report mentioned him. Priestess? She can't be talking about that father searching girl. Despite her young age, Priestess Elia is very capable and competent. One of the best occultists in Kamut. She's amazing! We wouldn't have made it here if not for her. What else does she say in her report? Major, there are tens of thousands of words in her report. Summarizing them is not easy. <laughs> if you'd like to hear more, we can take a trip to HQ. Exactly. I flew the chopper here to fetch you guys. Officer Victor has something he wants to tell you in person. All right. The chopper is preparing for takeoff. Destination, Andrew Town. See you, sir. Your presence in the rear gives me peace of mind. Save that for later. We've received new information. The remnants of the Morden army are relocating to Kamut. We have reason to believe they're seizing Kamut as their stronghold, posing a new threat to the world with the support of their allies. There's a strange stone out there, considered holy by Kamut locals. The enemy is also keeping a close eye on it. This is an important discovery. I'll assign a research team for rapid component analysis. Restock on strategic supplies first. I will keep you updated. Major Marco, how do you do? My name's Mia. I'm the receptionist from Lock Mining Industry in charge of Andrew's weapon supply. You're young and promising indeed. Nice to meet you. I prepared a few mystery weapon boxes for you. Which one would you like? Aw, oh, you didn't have to do that. Though I must say, mystery boxes are right up my alley. <laughs> Treasure Dig is a perfect game for any adrenaline junkie. Take your pick. You flatter me. 
I can't wait to see how powerful this new friend is. Perfect! Lambert Squad has just located Alan. They're gathering troops to greet him. The Battle of Kamut seems like only yesterday, yet Alan is already out stirring trouble. A true immortal devil sergeant he is. How about I put up the gems and you round up all the enemy stragglers? Can't lose with this offer. Hey, Commander, how about I put up the... See you in 
Now is your Marco, thank you for taking part in our, uh, pursuit operation. A, uh, uh, friendly reminder. We may have defeated the Morden army once, but don't underestimate the monster army behind them. Well, we designed a special rapid training program to help you deal with any, uh, emergencies that might come up. trained so hard in a long time. <laughs> uh, this brings back memories of the Academy. Well, Major, besides your routine exercises, collecting military supplies is also of great importance. Even the finest weapons require maintenance. But visit your pal, Miss Aikawa Madoka. You'll be uh, pleasantly surprised. Welcome to the Arcade Carnival! Play fun games and win great prizes! See if you can become the regular army's King of Arcade! Welcome to the Arcade Carnival! Welcome to the Arcade Carnival! Play fun games and win great prizes. See if you can become the regular army's king of arcade. Madoka! It's hard to believe you're running an arcade now. The soldiers these days can even earn supplies by playing games. Times have changed, all right. Our logistical support not only ensures supplies in abundance, but looks after our soldiers' mental health as well. I hope our men come back to the town to recharge and relax. Marco, arcade games are great fun. This guy on the screen looks a lot like you. You are absolutely right. Major Marco is very popular in the regular army. Major, we've ascertained that the gem is a rare crystal, emitting some kind of powerful energy. Our technical department continues to study it. Excellent. I'll lead the team back to Kamut to collect the other gems. Sir, wait for my good news. Leaving for a mission, kiddo. Got any more leads on the four gems? Hmm, are you also looking for the gems? Yes. I give you my word. I'll wipe out this wicked pharaoh, same way I drove off those aliens. Hooray! I will share this great news with my father. You're still looking for him? 
But Kamut is very dangerous, and you have no idea where he is. What makes you say that? We're all on the hunt for the gems to defeat the Pharaoh. It's only a matter of time until we meet on that road. An informant of mine spotted my father on the way to the desert, but I know a shortcut. We'll catch up with him in no time. Complete! 